From the WBBZ-TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play... Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShillo, with today's two teams. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We are celebrating the blue and gold. We have a great studio audience here. We're going to meet them in just a little bit here in the uh, WBBZ TV studio where we are producing some great shows with Canisius College. Yeah, the blue and the gold, huh? We've got some students from Canisius. Come on in, guys. Because these guys are part of a class project. These uh, last several shows that you've seen from Canisius College here on the station were produced and organized by these team members here at Canisius. And you are? Jackson to Giacomo. Where are you from, Jackson? Uh, Cheek to Wagga. All right, and uh, what year are you? Uh, this is my last semester, so call it senior. I'm okay. graduating December. There you go. Well, good luck to you. Come on in, you are? Brody. Brody, you've been taking video. Uh, the, what do you think of our facility here, Brody? Uh, I think it's pretty nice, definitely, yeah. What did you think of the experience to uh, work on bragging rights? Uh, it was definitely uh, a learning experience. I think I definitely learned the value of like communication and stuff like that and all this stuff because, you know, there's a bunch of different different people, a bunch of different places for all the information to stop, so. Yep, a lot of, a lot of moving parts. What year are you? Uh, I'm a junior. Junior, okay. All right, and I'm gonna step this, pardon me for stepping in front, you are? I'm Robert. Robert, where are you from? I'm from Rochester. Okay, from Rochester. What brought you to Canisius? Uh, well, originally they're a computer science program, but since then I've switched to communications because I developed an interest in film and technology. Right, well, I hope this experience was good for you too, Robert. Oh, it has been, it's been great. All right, so these are the students who helped put this together. Thanks, guys. You can go back. They're uh, taking a look at, at cameras. They're in the control room. They're finding out all about what television is all about. And look who's here, everybody. Petey, the mascot. <laughs> yep. There he is. Yeah, he needs to hear more applause. That's right. And uh, Petey's going to join us for the show, and we have a special surprise ending with Petey. So I'll tell you what, Petey, why don't you uh, jump behind the red team right over here. We're going get, to get you started. But before that, we're going to introduce you to our guest scorekeeper, Matt Gorsica, who is a grad from Canisius. Hello, Matt. How are you? Matt, we should say that uh, Canisius is a Division I school. That's a very special status to have. Yes, Division One. we have some of the most highly competitive teams, and you're about to meet two really great ones. You are, because on the red side, would you welcome the baseball team from the Golden Griffins. These guys have been playing. We're going to talk about some of the experiences they've had, and they're playing against the cross country and track team. The girls are here from the Griffins. Well, it's kind of the classic setup here, the guys against the girls, and uh, we'll talk a little sports. So let's go and meet the team captain on uh, the red side. We always start on the red side, and you are? I'm Brett Migliori. All right, Brett Migliori, where are you nice from? Nice to meet to you. See. I'm from Wellsville, New York. Wellsville, okay. Yep. We've been down there in the southern tier a lot. What brought you to Canisius? Uh, to be honest with you, baseball, baseball brought me to Canisius. Yeah. So what yeah. do you play? What's the best position? For you? Uh, middle infield. Middle infield. Yep. All right. Now, you, you were talking about uh, last year's experience. Tell us about it. Yeah, last year uh, we won the MAC tournament, the conference tournament, and we had the opportunity to play in the NCAA regional at, um, in Minnesota. Great. And that was a, just a great experience oh, I that bet. I'll never I bet. forget. Yeah. Who did you play against? Uh, we played against Minnesota and Gonzaga. Okay. And there you were, up yep. there, in the wilds of Minnesota. Yep. Who's on the team with you? Uh, right here, I got Chopper Jared Kennedy. Chopper and, Jared Kennedy. And to my right, I got Savage Perks, Carson Perkins. Savage. Okay. All right. So we're going to meet those players in just a little bit. Petey's helping them along. And then he's going to go with the girls on this side. But I'm going to come over and introduce you to the team captain. And you are? Hi, I'm Grace Hausleiden. Hi, Grace. How are you? Where are you from, Grace? I'm from Syracuse. Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Now, my daughter was on the cross-country team at Immaculata before it closed. And there's a lot of discipline with cross-country. What got you interested in being a runner? Um, well, I've been running ever since I was little. And my parents really got me into it. And it's just like been a part of my life. Yeah. What's yeah. the cross-country team and experience like the track team with uh, Canisius? Um, I'd say it's like a really tight knit group of girls and like we run with the guys team a lot so it's very like a very close knit and like it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun and yeah. you're faster than the guys aren't you? Uh, yeah, Ab obviously. Yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, uh, Grace, who is on the team here with you? Uh, this is Justina who's a junior and this is Bailey who's a freshman. Okay, we'll meet them in just a little bit. We met Matt Gorsica a little bit. Matt, we're going to have a good time here tonight, aren't we? Oh, we are and I have a feeling it's going to be very competitive with these teams. It is. Guys against the girls and the sports teams are in the house. 
Here's what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the scoreboard that Matt is standing in front of. You want to get your X's or your O's in your game block across, up, and down, or diagonal. If you do that, you get a bonus of 50 points. You're playing for points. 10 points in the first round, 20 in the second, 30 in the third. If you win, you become eligible for three large screen LED TVs from Dirt Cheap TV, our sponsor on Niagara Falls Boulevard. All right, we flipped a coin, and uh, the girls lost, they, uh, so the guys are going to take it. They're going to start. The baseball team is up. Brett, you're up to bat. So uh, we're going to start with C4. C4. Which of these movies did not star Harrison Ford? A, The Witness. B, Ender's Game. C, Cool Hand Luke. He's looking right at us, that Harrison Ford. Uh, we're going to go with C. Was it Cool Hand Luke? It was. See, yes, it is. it was. <laughs> Ten points to get us going with Kinesis. Cross country and track girls are up. Grace, where do you want your game block to go? Uh, I'll choose D1. D1. Who voices the Joker in the 1992 animated Batman TV series? A, Adam West. B, Mark Hamill. C, Sean Connery. Animated Batman. Remember, audience and uh, contestants, you participate if uh, someone is caught up and they have a problem. The audience shout out option is available. One question per game per team. OK, we'll go with A. Adam West. Oh no, it was B, Mark Hamill. And Mark Hamill was the voice. Adam West, though, was in the original Batman, so I'll give you props for that, girls. That was in the 1960s, and you kind of see it sometimes here on MeTV. Okay, Brett, you're up the baseball team. Uh, we're gonna go with C3. C3. Who holds the record for most consecutive championships in NASCAR? A, Richard Petty, B, Dale Earnhardt, or C, Jimmy Johnson? Most consecutive. Richard Petty. A. Oh no, it was Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson was the uh, answer, we didn't get that. We're continuing on, and the girls are up next with the last question in round one. Grace? Um, we will go with C3. C3 it is. What's the fewest possible moves to checkmate someone in chess? The fewest. A, five, B, two, or C, three? Few as possible moves on a checkmate. Never we'll go with A. You're gonna go with A. Oh no, it was two. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't five, it was two. Didn't get points there. Matt Gorsica, what's the score as we end round one? Well, the baseball guys are up with 10 points. The cross country track ladies have zero. Okay, we're gonna get some points up for the girls, I promise, when we come back right after this. Welcome back to Bragging Rights here at the Game Scoreboard with Matt Gorsica. Matt, you're good pals with our general manager, Chris Musio. Yes, I am. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah, and the whole family. And the whole family, yes. Because yeah. that's what Western New York is. It's one degree of separation. That's right. What do you write about on your blog? Um, I write about just about anything. I really have a focus for um, young professionals, as I am one, and the different life lessons and things that we can learn from, from you know professional development to travel, all sorts of different things. And uh, you know, being a blogger, uh, have you thought about maybe doing a podcast, or have you done some of those? I have, I have in the back of my mind working a podcast. So you know, we'll see what the future holds for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, you're an excellent writer, and uh, you can find what's your Twitter handle? My Twitter handle is Gork Meets World. And that's G O R C. G O R C. Yes. Meets World, not a yes. K. Yep. Not to be confused, because <laughs> I, you know, say things like Mario instead of Mario. You know, you know just <laughs> gotta be precise. All right, so Matt Corsica is here. Matt, you are a graduate of Canisius. I am a You're double grad. Double grad. You try to inspire these young people, right? I'm hoping so. I hope I'm doing a good job. I hope so, too. Let's take a look at the website, canisius.edu. That's where you can find out more about the school, and you can uh, also take a look at where they're located. Matt, uh, tell us before we get Brett, where is Canisius located? Because we really didn't get into that in these shows. Canisius is located right at the corner of Maine and Jefferson. Just look for the big golden dome and you'll know where campus is. That's it. And you see that on the logo uh, that's all around us. All right, our teams are back on the game stage. The baseball team is in the house. The baseball team from Canisius. <laughs> These are star athletes and in academics as well. And they're playing against the cross country and track team. The girls are in the house and Petey's going to pump them up this time. 
And uh, we're going to now take a look and, t and meet another team player on the baseball team. And you are? Uh, Jared Kennedy. All right. And uh, Jared, uh, what year are you? I'm a senior. Senior. And how long have you been on the team? All through your college career? Yeah, all through my college career. What, do you, what position do you play? I'm uh, left-handed pitcher. Left-handed pitcher. I'm left-handed too. So, But I'm nowhere near a baseball player. Some would say I'm nowhere near a game show host either. Where are you from? Uh, Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, Alberta. What brought you all the way here? Uh, the baseball team. They have a great reputation. They're laughing. What are they laughing for? They have great rapport. You know, you guys probably have a good rapport, right? Uh, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope so. What was your nickname again? Uh, Chopper. Chopper. Where did what what uh, is the reason for that? So, uh, being from Canada, I played hockey for a while. Um, I actually got that nickname when I was six, and it's kind of stuck with me ever since. What do you like better, hockey or baseball? Uh, I think I have to say baseball. You absolutely do. Okay, good. All right. So Chopper is here in the house. All right. Congratulations to him. And we're going to come over and meet another member of the cross-country and track team. And you are? Uh, I'm Bailey Pierce, and ba I'm a freshman. Bailey, you're a freshman. What are you studying? Uh, I'm studying biology. Where? Uh, what high school did you go to? I went to Rush Henrietta. Yeah. So you're from the Rochester area? Yes. Yeah. So I'll ask you, what drew you to Kenesha's? Um, well, we just had a, we have a really good running program, and academically, it's really good, too. Uh, Canisius was one of those schools where you get what you pay for. So, good line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're good, good, on, good on time. I try to run a little bit, but uh, my time is not so good. What's what's your mile? Um, it depends. Still trying to get stronger this year, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So it's yeah. a, it's probably really really good. All right. The girls are here. The girls against the guys. Matt, what is the score as we get into round two? Well, the guys have ten points, and the girls. Have zero, but it's anybody's game. It's anybody's game because it's 20 points each question. The guys are going to start. Brett, where would you like your game block to go? Uh, we're going to try again with C3. Please. C3. What fictional detective lives on 2221B uh, Baker Street? Fictional detective. Is it A, Hercule Perrault, B, Inspector Clouseau, or C, Sherlock Holmes? 221B Baker I'll say them again because I'm having fun saying them. Hercule... Perot, B, Inspector Clouseau, C, Sherlock Holmes. We'll go with Sherlock Holmes. C. C it is, Sherlock Holmes. Yes. <laughs> mm, guy's got a tough one there. All right, cross-country trek. Let's see what you got. Grace, where do you want your game block? Uh, we'll go with C2. C2. Who is the director of the Godfather trilogy of movies? A, Martin Scorsese. B, Francis Ford Coppola. Or C, Mario Puzo. Director, popular movies, Martin Scorsese, B. Francis Ford Coppola, you say B, is it? B it is, yes. Yes, The <laughs> Godfather. <laughs> 20 points up for the ladies. Baseball, Brett. We're going to go D3, please. D3, he said there, Matt. What TV show has won the most Emmys? A, Game of Thrones, B, The West Wing, C, Saturday Night Live. Most Emmys. Saturday Night Live? C. Well, live from these studios, that's the right answer. Yeah, I would have thought a different one. But bragging rights not on the list. Who knew? OK, ladies, you're next. Grace? Uh, we'll go with B3. B3. Take a look at that strategy on the board. Who has won the most Oscars of any actor or actress? A, Meryl Streep. B, Katherine Hepburn. C, Leonardo DiCaprio. Most o Oscars of any actor or actress. There they are on the screen. Uh, we'll go with A. A. Oh, it was actually Katherine Hepburn. Yeah, B, the actress in the middle, uh, who was uh, very, very popular in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and uh, right up to her passing late in life. Great actress. OK, Brett. Uh, B3. Well, I'm sorry, with that? B3, please. B, B3. Which of the films holds the record for the highest production budget of all times? Which one of these? Highest production. A, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. B, Avengers Age of Ultron. C, The Titanic. We're going to go with the Avengers. B. Oh, it was actually A, Pirates of the Caribbean. On Stranger Tides, yes. I would have said maybe the Titanic, because that was real big uh, many, many years ago. All right, last question in this round goes to you, Grace, and the cross-country ladies. Where do you want your game piece? Uh, we'll go with A3. A3 there, Matt. What sport can improve your posture? A, baseball, B, tennis, or C, equestrian? 
Remember, you have the audience shout out option. Let's Anything. do the audience shout out. You want to do the audience shout out? What sport audience can improve your posture? A, baseball, B, tennis, C, equestrian. <laughs> the audience has spoken, but it's up to you to answer. I mean, I think it's running, but we'll go with C. Equestrian. Well, the audience was right. It was C. <laughs> yeah. Points. yeah. All right. We're pumping it up like Petey. What is the score at the end of round two, Matt? Well, the guys have a slight lead. 50 points to the girls, 40. 50 to 40. You're right. See, it's anybody's game. 30 points. We're playing for that when we come back for the last round of bragging rights right after this. Bragging rights on WBBZ TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Hey, everybody, we're back in the audience, and uh, this is the final segment of a group of four shows that we were recording one evening here at WBBZ TV with the Canisius College students. I'm just going to get their names because God, goodness knows I'm, I, I'm just bad with names. You are? I'm Robert. Robert. Joe. Joe. Brody. Brody. Jill. Jackson. Mike. And we have Dr. Uh, Barbara Irwin. And uh, this has been a great experience, I hope, for the students. It's been amazing, incredible. A lot of they, fun. They, they've done a great job, too. Yeah, they did, because they were back on camera in the control room and learning from uh, some of the Canisius grads here and our, our whole team. So um, we hope that you'll come back, maybe think of another project for, Do for WBBZ, Doc. We'd love to do that. Yeah, you never know. The big picture with Phil Arno, just take it right over. You know, there you go, another show, right, Chad? Right, okay. Hey, uh, Matt Corsica is a guest scorekeeper. You've, have you uh, done any digital arts uh, as well, like, we, like these students have? I have. I have to say one of my favorite classes at Canisius was TV news features, and we actually were able to research our own stories, but also be partnered and learn all of the production side of, you know, what happens on the other side of the camera. So definitely a highlight, and I think that these students here tonight are, are really doing a great job. They are, and you know, let's give them a round of applause. I don't, how about that? Yeah, we need to do that. They did a great job. We're back with our students on the teams. The baseball team is here on the red side the Golden Griffins, and they're playing against the cross country and track team, the girls on the blue side. Okay, let's meet another member of the baseball team, and you are? My name is Carson Perkins. Carson, where are you from? I'm from Bean Fate, Saskatchewan. So, so another Canadian is with us. Yeah, what brought you down to Canisius? Uh, I got recruited out of high school, and that was about it for the baseball program. Yeah, what position do you play? I'm a right-handed pitcher. Right-handed. We got the left-hander over there, the right-handed here, and academically, what do you study? Uh, I'm a phys or physical education and health education major. Great. So you hope to do that, and do you want to play professional baseball when you get out? Yeah, that's the goal. Okay, always the goal, isn't it? Absolutely. Maybe be on the Buffalo Bisons. Yeah, hopefully. You never know. All right. So we have the baseball team here, and we'll meet another member of the cross-country team, and you are? Justina Wilkinson. Justina, where are you from? Utica, New York. Utica. So you uh, are here, too, uh, like the other students coming in, and... Uh, so tell us about your experience on the track team. Who's the coach, and uh, who, how do you get all motivated? Because it's tough to run. Uh, our coach is Meredith Shaw, and uh, we just like to run. I guess that's why we're here. Yeah. So where do you run when, when uh, people see you all around the, the campus? We run around Delaware Park and also, like, downtown Buffalo, which is really nice. Yeah. So coming here from, uh, you know, out of, out of the uh, city area, what do you think of Buffalo? Uh, it's a lot bigger than Utica, so different city, I guess. Yeah, but Utica's nice, too. Nice place. Oh, yeah, it's great. I love yeah. it. Well, thanks for being here, and thanks for playing on the team. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Corsica is over at the scoreboard. We're playing for 30 points this round, but what's the score as we get into the third round, Matt? Well, there's just a slightly, the baseball guys have 50 points, but the cross-country track girls have 40. Okay, we're going to see who pulls it out, see if the girls can uh, win it, see if the guys hold on to the lead. Let's see. Brett, you're up. Where do you want your game block to go? Uh, D4, please. D4 on the bottom. Which two football teams took part in the highest scoring football game in NFL history? Highest ever. The New York Giants and the Washington Redskins. That's A. B, the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. B, C, the New Orleans Saints and the New York Giants. Highest scoring game ever. Giants and Redskins. Bills and Cowboys or Saints and the Giants? Um, we're going to go, we're going to, we're going to go ask the audience. You are going to ask the audience. Okay. All right. You got those teams. Let's see if you got it. Highest scoring football game in NFL history. The Giants and the Redskins, A, B, the Bills and the Cowboys, or C, the Saints and the Giants. The audience is in a bit of a quandary. Saints and the Giants. Saints and the Giants. Which is C. 
No, it was A. Yeah, the Giants and the Redskins. Okay, well, we tried, audience, you tried. We all gave it a shot. Didn't get any points up. Girls, you're next. Where would you like your game piece to go, Grace? Um, how about A2? A2. Who was the first ultimate fighting champion to hold titles in two different weight classes simultaneously? A, Danielle Cormier, B, John Jones, or C, Conor McGregor? Give us that MMA look there, Petey. Let's go with a B. We're gonna try B, John Jones. Oh no, it was C, <laughs> Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, yeah, one of the more popular <laughs> athletes in the ultimate fighting world. Didn't get points there either. The baseball team is up next. Brett. We're gonna try again with D4, please. D4. The band The Foo Fighters was formed following the dissolution of which band? A, Nirvana, B, Pearl Jam, or C, Stone Temple Pilots? Nirvana. The Nirvana Canadian boys is are weighing it. in. Yep, Nirvana's it. Yes, it is a Nirvana. <laughs> the 30 points are up for the baseball team. The cross country ladies need some points. Let's see if you got it, Grace. Where do you want your game block to go? Uh, how about D2? How about it? D2. What is the best selling album of all time? A. Michael Jackson's Thriller. B. Eagles, The Greatest Hits from 71 to 75 or C, Pink Floyd's The Wall. They're all on screen for you. Michael Jackson, The Eagles, or Pink Floyd? We're gonna go with A. Michael Jackson. Oh no, it was The Eagles' Greatest Hits. B, yep, from 71 to 75. Girls, I would have said Michael Jackson too because he was all of that and more. Brett, you're up. Uh, D2, please. D2. William Henry Harrison showed uh, and served, rather, the shortest term of any president. How long was he in office? A, 28 days. B, 31 days. Or C, 45 days. 28 days. A. Oh, it was just a little longer, 31. 31, yep. I think he caught a cold or something when he was, maybe I'm wrong, but there was a president that, he, you chat him saying yes, he caught cold during his inauguration. All right, we didn't get points up there for the, girl, for the uh, guys. The girls are up next. Grace? Uh, we'll go with C1. C1. In what country was the video game Tetris created? Am I saying that right, Chatham? I know, but this is the last question in the game. Is it A, Germany, B, Japan, or C, the Soviet Union? Tetris. Germany, Japan, or the Soviet Union? Let's go with Japan, B. B. Oh, no, it was the Soviet <laughs> Union. <laughs> the Soviet Union, yeah, how about that? Didn't get that. All right, that was the last question in the game. Matt Gorsica, what is the final score? Well, the girls finished with 40 points, but the guys took it home with 80. 80 to 40, so the guys, you are the bragging rights champ, the Golden Griffins baseball team. But fear not, because everybody is going to get a movie pass to see something at the Dipson Theaters right here in the Eastern Hills Mall. We're going to be sending those passes out. And we want to bring in Petey, the mascot from uh, the Golden Griffins. And we're going to end with, uh, you know, Matt, I know that you uh, are a big uh, fan of our Polka Buzz show, you being of Polish descent. Uh, I am. Here Love at good WBBZ. Polka. So we want to wrap up the experience of all of the Canisius games with a very special musical number that Petey will take us home. Joe Bellucci and the band, take it away. It's the chicken dance. Here we go. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. I'm not going to try to even compete. Go to our website, wbbz.tv, to find out more about the show. Thanks to Dr. Barbara Irwin and everybody from Canisius College who put these games together, all of our teams and contestants. Canisius.edu to find out more. And we'll see you in the next edition of Bragging Rights. Take it home, Petey. Come on, Peter, keep going. There you go.